plugins. The concept very important, very very important. This conference will now be recorded. Right. So before we get into the plugin concept, let us just rewind the base class, the architecture of Dynamics. Hey, hey. Okay. See the. Right. So, uh, what are the four layers we have in the dynamic CRM? Presentation layer. Second thing is application layer. Third one is platform layer. Fourth one is database layer. The presentation layer revolves around UI, UI design, like creating the entities, creating the forms, adding the controls, tabs, etc. Application layer re revolves around data validation. Data validation means business rules as JavaScript. This is client side scripting. Platform layer revolves around the server side scripting. Code that executed the server server side, C sharp code. Okay, so mm, now we are into platform layer. Okay, so when you say the platform layer, when you say the business logic, basically what it consists of, it consists of data, playing with data. When you say data, what do you do with the data? C R U D, CRUD. You need to remember these things. C means create. R means read, U means update, and D means delete. Delete. So basically, you will do the CRUD operations with the data. The CRUD operations, what I will do with the data on the server front is server-side coding. Server -side coding. So what it involves, how the server-side coding uh, really, how we can achieve it, and what are the different things that are involved? The different things that involves here is plugins, workflows, actions, dialogues. Okay, dialogues, plugins. Whenever you do the CRUD operations, means when you create a record, when you update a record, when you delete a record, when you do some sort of things on the data, then you want to apply some logic. Then you want to supply, uh, apply some logic. For example, when a record is created, when a record is created, uh, I want to update the chain record. Or I want to, whenever I will update the Chain record. I want to check whether the parent record has a relationship or not. Okay, there are certain things that need to be performed during the creation of the records, update of the records, reading of the records, and reading of the records. When somebody is trying to read the record, I need to check whether he has the proper permission on it or not to read the record. For that, what I need to do, I need to create a plugin. When he when he try to open the record, it will check whether he has the appropriate role to open the record or not. When when I try to delete the child record, I may write the condition that the parent record should delete it or not. Only child record need to delete or parent record also automatically delete. Or when I delete a parent record, child records also automatically deleted. Like that, all the CRUD operations, create, read, update, delete, when you are doing certain CRUD operations, there is a business requirement where you need to apply a special logic. Where you need to apply a special logic. When you say the CRUD operation, again, here we can divide this CRUD operation into three levels. Three levels. What are the three levels? One is
before the thread operations and otherwise during the thread operations and the third one is after the thread operations after the thread operations after the thread operations okay so i want to elaborate this one before before means i am trying to create an account record i am trying to create an account record account record before i am going to create an account record i need to check the duplicate whether we have duplicate email id or not whether we have duplicate email id in the system or not i need to write a plugin such that it need to fire before creating an account before creating an account it need to verify whether uh, email id or phone number these are unique values right these are unique values or aadhar card for example here phone number or aadhar card number so i need to verify whether the person entered the data unique values email id phone number aadhar card is already there in the system or not that i need to check so i, I am going to write a plugin the name of the plugin is pre operation means before doing the core operation pre operation account validation this is the name of the plugin this is the name of the plugin when you look at the plugin you will easily understand oh pre operation before doing the core operation before going to record an account it will verify the account data pre operation account validation okay this is a plugin name where you will write the logic to validate email id to validate phone number to validate other card number whether it has duplicate card or not this is before during while creating the account while creating the account i need to check what do i what i need to check while creating account i need to map i need to map related contacts related contacts if the contact details already exist in the system as per the phone number entered by the user if it already exists then what i need to do i need to map to the current account i need to map to the current account after creating an account i need to send a email i need to send an email to the owner owner of the record that your account was created that your account was created so when you are doing this crud operation when you are doing this crud operation there are three stages what are the three stages before creating the record so here there are the naming convention that need to be follow in the industry okay pre operation during operation no need to write anything like operation so account creation account creation after creating the account if you if you are writing some plugin to execute post operation account creation account creation so when you are doing these operations basic operations always there are three stages before during after we can call it as stages we can call it as stages what we can call we can call all this as stages okay stages this is one point to remember and another thing is what is a plugin a plugin is a built in custom code which executes at server side which executes at server side whether you can create the new code or you can update the existing functionality existing functionality for what for all the crud operations before the crud operations during the crud operation or after the crud operations we are going to modify the existing functionality of the crm as per the business requirement as per the business requirements okay let us see i'll explain deep in deep in the presentation guys if you have any doubt feel free to ask okay 
this is very important you will get at least 5 to 10 interview questions on plugin development if you doesn't know how to do the plugin development most of the times the people will reject people will reject because this is very important for the developer for the technical consultant it is very important so there are the classes right while you are creating we will create the class we will create the class there are different types of classes which i did not cover when we are working with the uh, object oriented programming basics when we are learning with the basics that, that is too early now you know what is class there are different types of classes in uh, c sharp in dot net part of the normal class abstract class interface class abstract class interface class so now i will explain what is abstract class and what is interface class right okay i am designing i am designing a class for automobile industry i am designing a class for automobile industry so class the name of the class is vehicle the name of the class is vehicle class vehicle open close this here i need to set the properties int wheels int power that is cc int power string color string color okay this is a base class which i am creating with the properties and with the methods void check void mileage void travel so this is the this is the class this is the class which i am creating see guys when you say vehicle what are the different vehicles we have there are two wheeler there are four wheeler there are six wheeler even there are 12 12 wheeler okay so during design time you are not sure for which vehicle you are going to create a class for for which vehicle you are going to create a class but there are mandatory there are mandatory properties when you say vehicle every vehicle must have wheels every must have a vehicle must have power every vehicle must have color and every vehicle have certain checkings before it going to release on the market every vehicle must have the mileage and every vehicle must have the travel history so this is this is a basic very basic class very basic class when you are creating a basic class you don't want to implement any logic here till the time you confirm you don't want to build any logic here but i i can inherit this and i can build the logic i can inherit it and i can build the logic for example i'll make it as abstract class abstract means design abstract means design class you cannot implement the logic directly on the abstract class you need to inherit and you can build your own class your own class for example now my company decided to go with the two wheeler so class two wheeler i will inherit abstract i will inherit abstract what is abstract class name vehicle vehicle so in the vehicle it is mentioned the bare minimum basic core operations now by utilizing these properties i can i can develop my own properties so apart from wheels power color now I'll, i i am going to add int when i am going to create this vehicle two wheeler i am going to create a uh, two wheeler int constant power equal to 100 cc 100 cc okay power equal to 100 cc into wheels equal to two wheels two wheeler string
color equal to white comma blue comma green colors and now i am going to implement the logic here i am going to implement the logic because the checking conditions of two wheeler is different the checking conditions of four wheeler is different four wheeler is different for this is called abstract class abstract class means the class that which designed for future extension and future implementation in abstract class you cannot implement the logic directly but you can define the mandatory fields and you can define its extensions its extensions the class which helps you to extend the properties or to inherit the properties to create a base class is called an abstract class any questions on abstract class guys have you understand what is abstract class what is the use of abstract class and why why we need to use it any questions are you able to hear me okay in the same way microsoft created plugin as abstract class microsoft created plugin as abstract class an abstract class is used to define what is known as a base class a base class is a class which has the most basic definition of a particular requirement an abstract class is a base class which has the very basic requirements of what a class should look like and it is not possible for the child class to inherit the methods of the base class okay we can extend and we can elaborate the child class if you look at here i have given an example okay so i have given an example here as we discussed as uh, vehicle here i have given example for animal so here there is abstract class animal okay after that i created a dog by inheriting the animal okay this is dog like that you can do anything you can do anything okay so don't go much deeper just you need to understand what is an abstract class that's it because microsoft guys they created an abstract class i plugin they created an abstract class called plugin okay uh, abstract there are two classes here one is abstract class this is called abstract class and there is one more class called interface class one more class called inter face class vehicle interface class vehicle i tell you what the difference between interface and abstract both will be used during designing both will be used during designing int wheels i'm not uh, using all these things plus here also we have same methods and same classes same methods and same classes so same way here also we will implement class to wheel wheel we will inherit then open this why check open this close this so in the second program in the second program if i compile it will give error it will give error because 
whatever you mentioned in the interface class it must implement in the child class you can't deny it means i am not using wheels here wheels are defined but i am not using wheels here i am not using wheels i must use the wheels i must use the wheels so extra class is a flexibility whether you can implement it or you can enhance but the interface class you must implement and enhance that must implement rule is applicable to interface is applicable to interface whereas in abstract class you will have an option whether you can implement it or you can you can avoid or you can enhance enhancement is for the both but must implement is in interface and optional in abstract class that is the difference between abstract class and interface class so here microsoft guys they created an interface called i plugin they created an interface called i plugin if you want to implement you must implement i plugin once you implement i plugin automatically it forces you to use few things it will force you to implement few things like execution context okay uh, there is a method automatically creates called execution context means unless and until you verify the user security you verify the role of the user you can't work you can't work don't worry you can't work okay <clears throat> i'll show you in the presentation i'll tell about the plugin interfaces are used along with the classes to, to define what is known as contract what do you mean by contract contract means agreeing both the parties to do a definite work agreeing both the parties to do a definite work so an interface here is a contract between the implementer and the creator here microsoft is a creator we are the implementers when we are implementing interface we must implement few things a contract is an agreement on what the class will be provide to an application when interface declares the properties and methods it is up to the class to define exactly what the method will do an interface only contains the declaration of methods events and properties logic will not be available only the methods events and properties logic you need to implement what are the logic that you want an interface can be implemented implicitly or explicitly an interface cannot include private members all the members are public because whatever declared in the interface it must use everyone there are common properties those are common common properties it must implement it must implement i repeat once again interfaces are used along with the classes to define what is known as contract a contract is basically an agreement between a class and object an interface declares the properties and methods it is up to the class to define exactly what the method will do you can define whatever you want but once you define it is a public and it must implement an interface only contains declarations of methods events and properties logic will never implement in both in abstract and interface classes there is no logic only the mandatory properties mandatory events and mandatory methods methods without logic an interface can be implemented explicitly and implicitly you can use within the plugin same plugin or multiple plugins an interface cannot include private members all the members are public because it must implement any questions here about the interface definition don't think how to implement just try to understand what is what Uh, this is how it looks like so uh, microsoft guys they created this interface and they defined few properties and methods and they are asking us to implement once we implement the plugin uh, interface automatically it will force us to implement the methods and properties what properties we have and what methods we have in interface that we will see in future sessions coming prerequisites before you are going to work with visual i mean uh, plugin you must know few things the one thing is you must install visual studio 27 or later and you must have the access to dynamics 365 online trial instance or own instance and you must be familiar with basic concepts like what are entities what are attributes what are form configurations uh, solutions okay you must be familiar with the dot net of course the basic c sharp syntax that we already done so we are ready with all these things now we can go for plugins 
how to set up the development environment make sure you must install a visual studio and create a dev folder under the c drive and there are few we can call it as sdk kit software development kit we need to download, download that software development kit from the online from the online it's a free of cost everybody can download i'll show you how to download this okay first create one folder in your drive in local drive or d drive or c drive wherever you want okay so i already created dev tools 365 i will delete this and i will reinstall You get in you know, a C drive or D drive, wherever you have space. Create one folder called uh, Dev Tools. You can name it as whatever you are comfortable with. You can name it as anything. So I named it as Dev Tools 365. Dev Tools 365. Now go to Google. Download which SDK for Windows. We have both 64 bit and 32 bit. Whatever you want, you can go or just leave it. Download it. Dynamic 365. Software development kit. Download Microsoft. You will get Microsoft.com. Open this. Here, here you will have. Yeah. You can download directly in Visual Studio. Visual Studio is different. This is software development kit. Oh, no, Microsoft no, Dynamics. Hmm. In Visual Studio also, uh, you can Visual download. Studio, we can... Yeah, uh, we can download. We can download. But the best best thing is you need to download in separate folder. Better go with the uh, cursor. I'll, I'll tell you how to download is from the... Uh, you will have the... Uh, what we call... Even without downloading from the Google also, we can do I'll tell you how to do that one. So download. Just take both 65 bit and 64 bit. If you know what your machine, you can go with 64 bit or 32 bit. Generally, everything is 64 bit nowadays. So just download it, save it. Saving, let it. Okay, it's downloaded. Generally, it will download in downloads. So this is the tool. Copy. 
and go to the folder which you created. Do this way. Paste it here. Basically, it's an exe executable file. I click run as administrator. Yes. Accept. Continue. Put it in the folder. The folder. Dev to C sixty five. Extraction is completed. Okay. Sample code solution tools where is the tools? This is SDK. Okay. There is one more thing downloaded. The solution we don't need it. We need to go for the SDK software development. Key. This is important. Copy D folder Dev tools D65. Paste it. Now run as administrator. PC D folder It will extract a folder called SDK Software Development Kit. Also, we will have a PowerShell script to download the SDK. Open a new file. The extraction is done. We go to the dev tools. If I open SDK, we'll have all the things. Okay. Uh, sample code. Tools, plugin registration tool, templates, everything will be downloaded. This is one way of downloading. Another way, I delete all these things. There is a PowerShell script through which you can download everything. There are a few commands like uh, copy this, go to run power Windows PowerShell. Run as administrator.
insert npm we actually we have this folder in d right d drive so d colon backslash enter <clears throat> this is through command let it execute take some time the best way is just download it okay and extract that is the best and easy okay this step done it is not available they changed the command to pack let me check that one Download is TK. Your local machine use current directory. <clears throat> Try this one. There is another command, they changed the command. Get PowerShell script. Copy, 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 copy. Okay, I'll find the current uh, uh, command and I'll give you. Okay, anyhow, we can do it through the download. Okay, they change the command. I remember there is another command which helps you to download through PowerShell. The people who don't have the Windows uh, UI, they can go with the PowerShell. But we have the uh, Windows, so nothing to worry. So once you download, what is next step? Uh, uh, download the uh, there is a zip file download so run the script it's completed the folder structure you can see the tools now we need to install the package in dynamic crm okay for that we need to open the visual studio this part we will do now so we need to install the core assemblies how to install go to visual studio Run as administrator. Our shell script to download. SDK three sixty five not the color. Mm 
Yeah, this is the code. <clears throat> Actually, it, it, it is available in official site, CRM site. Now they removed, maybe they changed. No, bro, this is the code. We need to go to PowerShell. Search with Windows PowerShell. You will get this one. You must run as administrator. Don't run directly, it will it won't work. Run as administrator. And then go to the folder where we are working. B folder. CD, we created Dev365 tools. It is searching. CD, Dev365. Tools. Mm, do tools three sixty five. Yes. Log into the and right click. Paste automatically, it will execute the PowerShell script. Now it will download the uh, SDK 365 with PowerShell command. This is the second way of downloading. There is a third way where you can do it from the Visual Studio. Just for knowledge focus, I'm giving this. Uh, you don't need all these things. So it will take, take a couple of minutes, guys. Okay. So let it done this off. Come back to Visual Studio. In order to write the plugin, you need to go to New Project with Class Library. Did you remember we created a uh, uh, library, DLN? As some, there is one library we created, Calculator. In the same way, you need to select the class library type, project.net class library. The type of the project is .net class library. Proposal, take load it. We'll copy that script here. 
copy paste and you want to give the link no yeah so you need to go to class library with dotted framework so click on class library uh, if you don't find this search here as class library so select this one class library with dotted framework class library with dotted framework this is the type Next, here I'm going to write a validation for uh, pre operation. Before I'm going to create an account, it needs to validate pre operation account validation with 4.612 dot framework. Create. Let it create the project. Once we set up the environment, before we are going to write a plugin, let me define the plugin. A plugin is a custom business logic that integrates with Microsoft Dynamics CRM to modify or extend the current behavior. You may extend the current behavior or you may modify the behavior. Some scenario where you will use the uh, uh, plugins. For example, if you want to execute some business logic, such as updating certain fields of a record, updating related records. For example, someone has created a contact. Okay. So you want to map that contact to the account, appropriate account. The customer he will only create the contact. He doesn't know how to connect it with the account. Uh, once he created the contact, the plugin automatically maps the contact with the appropriate account, appropriate account. That is one of the example. Or you want to call an external web services, such as saving or updating a record. When you are updating a record, there is an other number. You need to validate with the other, other number is right one or not. You write a plugin to connect to the government site and to validate that other record, whether it is a proper one or not. For that, you write the plugin. You want to calculate the things. Okay, you want to uh, you want to finalize the income tax, or you want to calculate certain things, then you write the business logic, and you want to automate the process like automatically sending emails. All these scenarios where you will go for plugins. Okay, so how the plugin really organized? How it looks like? Plugins are organized into class libraries. All plugins are C sharp class libraries, which in turn are compiled into DLL files. What do you understand from this? A plugin is a DLL file. It cannot execute by itself. We need to install in the CRM. The CRM is a main class and DLL is a library. DLL cannot in execute by itself. We need to deploy. For that, we need a plugin registration tool. How to deploy, where, how to define the event, when to execute. For example, JavaScript. How will you execute the JavaScript? You will, you will define the events. Onload event, on save event, on change event. The same way plugins can also be defined in the events called as messages. We can call a plugin events as messages, as messages. As I told you, create is one message at the time of creating record. Okay, update is one message, delete is one message, select is one message, all the other messages. Okay, so the defining a plugin. After writing the plugin, storing the plugin in the database, CRM database, and defining when to execute is called a plugin registration. What do you mean by plugin registration? A plugin registration means the process of saving a plugin DLL library into CRM database and defining when to execute. And defining when to execute is called a plugin registration. Is called a plugin registration. How to do the plugin registration? That I'll, I will tell you later. At this stage, you just know what is plugin registration. Okay. So this is a simple plugin, very basic plugin. 
where I'm going to write a validation on the column. So you know what are these things? What are these things, guys? What we call it as this uh, using what we call these things as libraries. All the other Microsoft Project libraries. These things we already practiced. What is the new thing? Microsoft at XRM Redis DK. This is what we downloaded. Microsoft XRM Redis DK software that we downloaded. So we are using a library. This library defined I plugin interface. I plugin interface. Once I uh, inherit or once I implemented I plugin interface, this I plugin interface forced me to work with execute. Automatically, it will create execute method. The execute method consists of execution context, like how we write in Java. This conference will now be recorded. And I'll, 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 I'll explain once again. Are you guys able to hear me and you are able to see the screen? Right. So I'm using a library called Microsoft XRM SDK, which is provided with Microsoft. Here they will they created a plugin called iPlugin interface. I, in the iPlugin interface, they don't build the logic, but they will force us to execute this method, implement this execute method. Once I implemented this execute method, it wait for the property called service provider. So the service provider is a connection of CRM, which consists of execution context. This consists of username password of the user who is logging into and what is his role and what are the entities that he is, he have the accesses. As per that, when say load the entity on which I am registering, the target, if I am registering on account, it is account entity. If I am registering on contact, it is contact entity. Once it is loaded, if I have the permission, then only I can be able to load this one. Once it is loaded, then it will read the column. The column name is TB's name. Once it loads the column, it will check whether that column have the value called virtual. If somebody entered the value called virtual, it will throw an error. It will throw an error saying that don't use this. Don't use this one. Okay. Let us create this small plugin and we'll, we'll work on that. Okay. So the class library is created. You know the part of the class. This is a namespace, DLNM. This is a class. Let me change the class as account validation. Rename it as account validation. Account validation. Done. So what the first step I need to do? Like I need to use a library. All these are Microsoft Project library. Now, since I want to write a plugin, I need to use using what is the library name microsoft dot xrm dot sdk i need to use this one but it is throwing error there is no microsoft where is microsoft it is not there it is missing 
I am getting error. The namespace XR is missing. I, I download it, but I need to install here. I need to install here. So right click, go to manage NuGet package, manage NuGet package. Here browse. Microsoft XRM is DA and install my 2015 core assemblies. There are few assemblies. So I, I will install Microsoft Excel core assemblies. This is the latest pip. Install. No, it's installing Microsoft. So this is the one way you have installed that one. Yeah, this is the other way uh, installing the tools. Okay. Third way. So it is different in tools. Now we got it Microsoft Excel that is DK here. Done. Installed. No, there's no error. There's no error. So in order to write a plugin, I need to implement the plugin interface. I plugin. As soon as I define I plugin, it will throw error because being an interface, I must implement the methods. So click on implement interface. Once it automatically implemented the execute method. This is defined by the Microsoft. This is defined by the Microsoft. Okay. Now, what you will do with the JavaScript? You will write the plugin right, execution context. Same way, here also, we need to define the execution context. This is standard copy paste. Now, after that, I need the load. I need to load the entity account entity. So, the next step is copy paste. Account entity. Next, in account entry, sir, where did you define account? I don't define account here, but this plugin in which I will register. If I register this plugin on account entity, it will account. If I register it on contact, then this contact. That's why they call as target. I'll show you where this target will uh, define and how the argument will pass. I'll show you. Now I need to read the column, but I need to check whether the column is available or not. Here I'm reading a column name called TBS name. Do you have that column in account entity? So that I need to log into my CRM and I need to check whether we have that TBS new entity or not. So make ready or not?
So we have the call for name. Second name is saying. So name. I I will will search go with name. Name name call. Okay. So save it. Bliss. 810 okay before we are going to use this one i need to protect this one i need to protect this one in order to protect the plugin right click properties signing go to signing sign the assembly sign the assembly Right click, new. Name it as account. You can protect it with the password. As of now, we don't need it. It will encrypt. It will encrypt. No third person will able to access this one. Okay, encryption created. So we we created what we did today. We have downloaded SDK. We installed SDK. We created, we imported SDK, we imported I plugin, okay. We created small plugin, and we added the security, okay. Encrypted plugin, okay. The next session on Monday, I'll tell you how to register this one, how to execute this one, okay. Monday we are going to cover the in deep details about pre operation, post operation, synchronous and asynchronous. And how to create the images for the CI uh, in library. All these things we'll look at, we'll check it on Monday. Okay. And I join meeting at 8 30. I'm supposed to start. So uh, we'll work on Monday. We'll continue on Monday. Meanwhile, if you get a time, try to read something from the net, what is plugin and all those things. Okay. And meanwhile, you prepare the environment. I have uh, I created a PowerShell script as well as the link, right? As a link to download the SDK into your system. Okay. With the environment, we'll work on Monday. Monday, we're going to work on the plugins. Any question, guys? Sir, I have small doubts. Can I ask? Yeah, you wish. Yeah. Sir, I have small doubts. Yeah. 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 Some. Uh... And we create on events, sir. On load, on save, on change. So mm. when I create a previously, yesterday I created a school data like that. When I have to go to change that events, it's show only on events, sir. Not on load, on save. Yeah. 